good morning all so in this problem uh, we have to construct a square pyramid development of the cutted uh, square pyramid here okay so square pyramid dimension base side 40 mm height 65 has the base on hp and the edges of the base are equally inclined to vp equally inclined to vp means we have to consider the corner position and piece to cut with cut with an inclined section plane so has the truncated surface at 45 de degree to its axis okay we have to consider 45 degree to axis bisecting it bisecting means exactly middle point of the axis okay so draw the development first we have to draw an xy line here okay draw an xy line then take a square square of dimension so in this dimension given 40 mm so give width 40 and height also 40 and give angle 45 degree okay mention xy vp hp and <coughs> the notation of it so here in the inside lines of the square we should draw the thick line okay thick line we should construct a b c d mm, draw the thick lines here draw the front view of it front view uh, axis length is 65 so draw the projection lines and then from there we can extend it okay here section plane we have to draw exactly at the midpoint so so go to split command and split it exactly at the midpoint and show the dimensions that is 32.5 now go to section plane select axis here and here i can give an angle of 45 degree so 45 degree to the axis we have to show So I'll go to the angle between between the axis and the angle. So here we're getting 45 degree. Okay, exact angle. So now we can extend it. So this is where it is cutting. Now <coughs> again I'll go to split command and I'm going to split the upper part so that it will be easy for us to select the upper portion and make it thin. Okay, the lower portion has to be thick here. Okay, 0.13 you can make it. now we can mention the naming for the cut plane so you can see we have the four slant edges a a o b o c o and d o you can mention the front view of it okay so a dash b dash and c dash d dash not visible you mention within brackets here okay and o n dash bottom face center axis and o dash is the top face vertex point okay you mention one here and this is where one is cutting on the slanted j o and uh, two it is cutting on the vertical edge b and three it is cutting on a vertical edge c here okay so here in the top we uh, do not get confused here there is nothing to do anything here because here we have the slant edges slant edge here it is parallel so no need to do anything on the top view okay so here uh, so here there is a mistake 
you can see here uh, the uh, section plane cutting exactly on the vertical and the slanted OC so no need to consider the front view distance here okay don't get confused so you can mention that uh, 3 on the vertical edge C only okay you can mention it that is exactly cutting on the slant heads and then 4 it is cutting on the vertical edge D here okay on the uh, slant heads you can mention the dimensions here here you can see the OC it is parallel to XY that is O dash E dash is your slant head length you can measure a distance between you can select two points so that you can get the exact length here you cannot able to get it like this so in that horizontal vertical it is there right so in there you can just uh, change it to two points okay change it to two points here i am drawing another line thin line i will measure the length for the true length that is 70.89 i am getting it now on, the, on this uh, true length line we have to project this uh, 1 2 3 1 2 3 is already there on it 2 4 and 1 we have to project it horizontally so that we get it on the, its uh, slant edge How to measure that length okay cut it length from o dash to 3 and o dash to 2 and o dash to 1 so here in this command in the horizontal distance between command so what we do when we select okay when we select we select here we change in uh, that command we select it by two points so that it will be we will go to uh, this distance between then here you can change it to by two points by doing this we can select the exact end points just here first end point then where you want it till here you want it you can get this exact length the same way the end point okay you can select the end point end point and this you can select zero dimension then again from mode as to one you can select uh, separately you can select that command okay otherwise that uh, message will come to select properly okay yes so this shows the exact length here now you draw vertical line of length 70.89 that is true length line mention the length okay you can mention this is O and this is A capital A now go to arc by center point then measure this length from O to A and sweep the arc okay now we have to cut the arc uh, of length 40 mm you can see in the square pyramid the base length they have given 40 mm i will go again arc by center from the a point you measure 40 mm give the radius 40 and sweep cut the arc the same from that end again you select and give the radius 40 mm 40 enter and cut the arc okay again you select that reference point and give radius 40 enter and cut the arc so we have to get four uh, triangular faces here because it is a square pyramid so that means i have to cut it four times here this arc point
now we can join with the straight line here that is slant edge from O to B zoom it and join it properly okay zoom in and join it the same way you can do it from again O to B then O to C O to D and O to A you can do it join it zoom and join it join it properly Okay, now connect the base edges. Then you can show dimension for the base heads in the true length line. You can mention the naming for it capital B, capital C, capital D, and capital A. Okay. Again, go to arc by center. We have to mention that cut points, the section plane cut points, which is there on the true length. Okay, here remember, we should consider all those one, two, three point on the on the true length point. Okay, on the true length point one, it is cutting at a distance of say how much it is. You can zoom in and check it. It is sixty two point seven five. Click enter. So now we sweep it, sweep the radius. Okay, the same length. I need to show it on the another length here. Another length we have thirty-five point four four. That is point number two and four. Okay, that is point two on the slant edge B. It is having a length of thirty-five point four four. The same way we have to do it on our vertical edge D also. Thirty-five point four four. Enter. Cut the arc. Okay, now for that vertical edge on the point C, we have on 24.7 on the what on the slant edge C, the point 3 it is lying at its distance of 24.7. Okay, so one again I have cut it and you can see one, one thing point number three we have left here. So I'll be doing it. We will go to arc by center. The length we have twenty four point three, twenty four point seven. Sorry, twenty four point seven. Enter, cut the arc. Okay, that is your point number three. And this is four, and this is one. Okay, now we can join uh, using straight line here. Zoom in and connect. Okay, zoom in so that you can get the exact point. So try to zoom it and find the exact point here, and then connect here. So join it properly by zooming it, okay, so that you can able to join it to the exact point here. 
okay now the uh, upper part i'll make it as thin by selecting you can see that upper part so we have to make it thin i'll go to split command again the upper part i'll make it i'll be cutting exactly at this uh, one two three points okay by selecting those upper part i'll make those upper part as thin line here okay so that completes the problem you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notification and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited from these videos thank you for watching thank you all so i can be showing the exact distance here So this completes the problem, thank you.